Okay, um, hello everybody, Adriana here. So welcome to the 30 minute workout where we're going to be using kettlebells. So I have written here, so this is going to be the whole body workout, which means that we're going to do four minute warm up, and then we're going to have two exercises and we're going to be repeating three rounds. So when we are having four sections and then we are having a stretch at the end. Uh, so the only thing you need is the mat, kettlebell or something heavy, or it can be the dumbbells and a glass of water. So make sure you turn your watches on, uh, put some music on and uh, let's get started. So let's go. Rotate your shoulders backwards. Come on the big circles. So this is basically going to be more kind of like a strength and toning workout. Shoulders forward. And also it's going to be only 30 minutes. So it's doable. You, you should not kind of sweat much. Now last three, two, one, okay, excellent. Now, get your arms rotating forward. If you start feeling kind of any uh, kind of uh, twinges or something that kind of doesn't feel right, it feels more like an injury, do make sure you uh, take care of that so that you stop with the workout. Do let me know and uh, you can just do something else if you feel like it's actually not working for your body. So three, two, one, okay, excellent. Both arms here and let's go open, open open so you're pushing your chest forward keep your arms it's your shoulder level don't drop it down like this arms up go on three two one okay excellent get arms up stretch stretch so it's really important to warm up so in these workouts we're going to be able to do it come on three two one okay excellent let's go hips to one side, keep rotating. If you're feeling sore after the workout, especially the, uh, the workout side like this, switch the other side. Loosening up always helps, but if it kind of like cripples you, Epsom salts or the magnesium sort of spray. Nope, you can't come in because I put the door. Who is that? Oh, little two. One, wait, 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 you'll break the camera. Come on, come in, come in then. Come on, come in. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's go lean forward and squeeze the hips. Lean forward and squeeze. There she is, my little helper. Don't touch that. <laughs> Three, two, last one. Okay, excellent. So now you're going to, you can hold on to something if you're losing the balance or both hands onto your hips. Yeah. What did we say about those headphones? She broke them on my last one. No, I didn't. Yes, she did. I did on mama. <laughs> okay. The broke break itself. Break them. Don't touch it. Three, two, mm. and the last one. Don't touch that. Oh, neither. Because I'm oh, oh, very forgetful. Switch to the other side. Come on. So you basically imagine that you're having a lamp post or a post next to you and literally trying to avoid it. And basically just take over. Oops. Come on, two more. <laughs> the last one. Who's going to school tomorrow? Okay, excellent. Get your legs wider apart, toes out, arms up, and let's go. Touch the floor. Layla, get down. Layla, you're not, you're not one years old, come on. Three, two, the last one, Layla. Layla, please go downstairs, come on, quick. Okay, excellent, grab a quick drink. I something to you. Yeah? Mommy and me have something in common. Shh, don't say that on the video. Come on, go quickly downstairs. But then it means there's no bike then. Okay, so we are starting first with these children. So we're starting first with 10 press-ups and 10 shoulder presses. So press-ups you know, but this is the shoulder press. And we're going to do 10 of these and 10 press-ups, three rounds. So get down onto the floor. You can do it together with me or you can basically do it without me. 10 press-ups, 10 shoulder presses. I suggest always go onto your knees, but if you want to do the full press-up, go for it. Okay, let's go. One. Two, so you gained your core, three, four. If you're having a 
wrist issues, skip it or do something else. Instead, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So normally, women are having very weak wrists. It's just because we don't have it in a in our training program to use the arms. So come on, let's go. So one. So press above your head. Three. Four. Hold the belly button in. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And the last one. Ten. Okay, good. Get down onto the floor. Take a rest in between if you kind of feel like you need it. But these ones, kind of, if you're having repetitive, the same type of exercises, it's kind of, you know what to expect and it's going to be easier to do. Come on, let's go. 10, 1, 2. So if 10 is too much, 4, you do how much you can. You stop, wait for me to start doing shoulder presses and just carry on. 6, 7. Eight, nine, and the last one, ten. Okay, excellent. Slowly come up, shake your hands again. If your wrist hurts, think about the next exercise, what you can do instead. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five. So this kettlebell is 12 kilos, 10, 8, oh, 9, and last one, 10. Have a little rest, grab a drink, or get down to the floor. And let's go back again. Again, remember, you're not here to... As soon as you feel discomfort or pain doing something and you know that it's kind of something that doesn't feel right, it's different than muscle soreness. And please do find alternative. Let's go 10. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. This is the last round. Seven, eight, nine, and the last one, ten. Whew. Good. It's like if you're not doing anything for a while, it does feel like a hustle. Urgh. Hard work. Come on. We can do this together. You ready? Three, two, one, go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Whew. Okay, good. So We've done now the first part. The second part is going to be kettlebell squats. So we're going to have two exercises, kettlebell squats and kettlebell lunges. 10-10, um, three rounds, both exercises. So the kettlebell squats, option number one, that you can keep basically your hands in the middle and you're basically just dropping the kettlebell down and holding for the bell. And then you're going to touch the floor and reach up. Touch and squeeze the bum cheeks, squeeze the bum cheeks. Or you have a second option, but you're holding a kettlebell like this, you go down into a squat and then squeeze, down into squat and squeeze. And then the next one is the frontal kettlebell lunge. You're holding a hand here and you're going basically into the opposite lunge forward. I don't know if you can see me. Okay, so 
Let's go. I'm going to hold it down because it's going to rest your arms. But if you want to hold it up, go for it. Let's go 10. Come on. Touch, squeeze. Touch, squeeze. Touch, squeeze. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, excellent. Remember, you're going forward with holding the kettlebell in one hand. You don't have to hold it if you don't want to. So, let's go. So this is one and back, the same leg, two, three, four. If you're feeling your knees are going past your toes, you're going too far out, you can even hold, if, if you can't control your lunge, you can do this. Come on last, four, three, two, and the last one, Okay, excellent. Switch to the other side. It's looking really dark there. Come on, one, two. So you're holding your shoulders so static that it is in the same level. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one, ten. Okay, excellent. Grab, come on, grab a quick drink. Let's repeat again. Squat. I'm so sore of yesterday's workout. I feel like I can't bend down properly. <laughs> Three. So you see my bum cheeks? Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, good. So choose whatever option you want to do with lunges. You can do the front lunge, split lunge, without the kettlebell, with kettlebell. Let's go ten. One, two, I'm using this arm on the side to give me the balance. If I put my hand on the hip, I feel like the kettle is pulling me that side. But really, it doesn't matter. It really matters what you feel comfortable with. Three, two, and the last one. Switch to the other side, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, come on, nine, and the last one, and ten. Okay, excellent, drop down, quick drink, last round. Remember, squeezing your bum cheeks down. Come on, let's go. Touch, squeeze. Breathe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, excellent. Let's go to the front and lunge. Go. One, two, three, four, five, oops, six, come on, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Perfect, switch. Come on, keep it going. One, two, three, four, 
five. Next time I'll wear brighter leggings so you can see what I'm doing. Seven, eight, and the last two, nine, and the last one, 10. Okay, awesome. Put it on the side, we are done now. Shake your arms if your arms hurt, you have a quick drink. So remember, you're doing this for you, so you're doing your best and just keep going. So come on, we've got now 15 minutes left. So we are doing like three, two exercises, three rounds of five minutes. Okay, so the next one, you're going to have to hold the kettlebell so the handle goes down and the bell goes up. Legs are wide apart and you're going to touch the floor, bicep curl, press, and then down. Come on, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one, 10. Okay, excellent. And the next exercise is going to be rows. So hand onto your knees, keep the back straight, and you're just going to pull. So one, two, three, four, five. Keep your head straight. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, good. Switch. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Okay, excellent. Have a little rest. Okay. Open the windows, Penny. I'm, I'm dying here. Oh, cool. Oh, it's a very good breeze. Okay, so let's go again. Starting 10. One, touch the floor. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Come on, seven, eight, nine, the last one, ten. Don't you shut the door? It's a draft. Okay, so when it comes to weights, so why you want to go heavier is because it works your heart rate higher up, and challenges the muscles. And it is basically harder. So you're doing less repetitions. And you're doing more work. Three, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Switch. Come on, let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one, ten. Whew. Okay, excellent. Let's go. Final round. Oof. Come on, so we can get on track to her five minute stretch. Come on, let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, whew, eight, come on, nine, whew, the last one, oh, ten, good, let's go rows. Oh, my arms are hurting. Come on, let's go. 
One, two, three, four, five. Holy moly. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew, switch. Keep the back straight. Count three, keep breathing. Four, five, six. Come on, you can do it. Seven, eight, nine. Find the last one. Ten. Oh my goodness, my bum is and arms and fire. Okay, good. Grab a quick drink. So, so for the next one, you'll need the mat because we'll go down on the Russian twists. So, first one, feet hip width apart, so literally just the fist in between. One hand here, and let's go. Open, crunch, open, crunch. Hips are static. The only thing is this moving is your shoulders. If this is not, if you're having a bad back, I suggest you're doing plank, side plank. Come on, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, I'm hot. Let's go. The other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm on seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Get down. So you can do this one with the kettlebell, weight or without anything. So you basically grab the kettlebell, the belt hangs down, and you literally keep your feet on the floor and you just twist from side to side. Remember, bad back, final alternative. Do another side plank. Come on. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Come up in a standing position. Let's get back again. One side. Ready? Let's go. One. Keep the hips static. You're just moving as your shoulders from side to side. Three. Which, so you're squeezing where the elbow is up, you are squeezing that part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, good. Get down. Come on, let's go. 10 Russian twists. You're counting only single side or 20 sing oh, 10 to singles or 10 one side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And let's go the last one and then we will stretch. So we are catching up on time. So let's go. One, two, three. So squeeze this side. Five. So six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. The other side. One, two. Maybe ten. Four, five, squeeze this side. Six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one, and ten. And let's go to the final Russian twist. And then we're going to stretch. Come on. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. 
five, six, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, excellent. And now we're going to stretch to put yourself some really okay, good. Um, need to plug it in. Oh, I'm going to last much better. So <laughs> honestly, this is like getting the workouts done and okay, so get down and let's get stretched. So first one foot in your groin, the other foot here, and then just stretch. So just hold it. I think it is quite uh, like 30 minutes is a, a really good time that you can feel like you actually work something, but with the warm up and the stretching, so you kind of do the whole the whole body and you cover the most important part, and that's the warm up before we start and then stretch at the end. Okay, legs wide apart, <sighs> lean forward. So you can open your legs as wider as you can, go to one side. And stretch. Make sure you drink plenty of water. I know that I know we all know that we need to drink more because if you don't drink water, you'll just be more hungrier. So keep that on your mind if you start, especially like in the afternoon. That is always like for a big sign of dehydration. So just kind of stay mindful, really. Um, this is the thing, it, it's I find it very interesting that we don't do things that actually make us feel so much better. So we'd rather be in discomfort and do something about it and those little things such as like, just keep hydrated. Uh, many people ask me how much is enough. The color of your urine really will tell you that you're dehydrated. If, the, if, the, like if your wheat is darker, that you're dehydrated. So make sure you Make sure you, you just keep on up my uh, your eye on it. Okay, so let's go with the cat stretch. Okay, so let's go cat stretch and chest up. Cat stretch and chest up. And last one, cat stretch and chest down. Okay, good. So now let's go into a child's pose. Just, uh, you can now open your knees a little bit wider, so kind of you can actually drop your hip, oh, drop your chest and then like lower, and just stay there. Go home and relax. Now you can open your arms a little bit wider, and now you're going to put one arm on top of the other arm, and you just push your chest down and stretch. Open up the arm, pass onto your other side and push down. Slowly bring your arms in the middle, push down and slowly bring yourself up into sitting position. Bring your knees together. If you're uncomfortable in this position, just put it as like a Turkish sit which is basically sitting on your bum cheeks and just open the legs wide. One hand is on the side and the other arm goes up above your ear and stretch. And slowly point to the other side. And slowly bring your arms on the back and push your chest up. So if you're feeling stressed out or if you feel like you've started getting anxious, notice where your shoulders go. So if you're kind of getting crunched up into this position when you're sad, anxious or overwhelmed, push the shoulders back and just breathe. Get your arms up above your head. Okay, excellent. And let's go. Just to close your eyes and let's go three deep breaths. Breathe in. And breathe out. Two more, close your eyes, deep in. And breathe out. One more time, breathe in. Breathe out. 
and give yourself a massive round of applause. Well done, uh, well done for completing this workout. Uh, when you complete it, make sure that you let me know and uh, kind of leave the comments below. How did you find it? Did you find anything challenging? Or um, if you feel like you are actually getting better. So massive congratulations and let's keep smashing it. See you later. Bye.